Okay, so this is just a quick review of, uh, of the example that we did in class. Um, for those of you who, you know, weren't, weren't able to capture everything uh, that went so swiftly on the, on the slides by, uh, hopefully this will help. So uh, this was a, a, a deterministic problem, so the arrivals are uniform. We're assuming there's no probability, it's just a uniform arrival rate a uniform departure rate uh, and there's only one lane okay so now for background you may remember the vehicles arrive at an entrance to a recreational park uh, there's a single gate at which the vehicles must stop and there's a parking attendant who distributes free brochures okay. so the details are the so the park opens at eight eight o'clock Vehicles begin arriving at that time at a rate of 480 vehicles per hour. And then at 820, the, the arrival rate declines to a lower rate of 120 vehicles per hour. And that goes for the rest of the day. So the time required to distribute a brochure at the gate, that's what the, each vehicle is doing when they stop. The park attendant gives each person a a brochure and that takes on the average 15 seconds okay. and what we're looking to do is is use a very simple deterministic model to find the average queue length at the gate uh, and the average time spent waiting or, or so-called average delay at the park entrance Okay. So first, first we need to convert stuff to uh, vehicles per minute. It's a it's a finer uh, measure. So the arrival rate is often called lambda, and the the arrival rate from uh, eight o'clock to eight twenty is eight vehicles per minute. The departure rate, the service rate, if you will, is fifteen seconds per vehicle, which converts to four vehicles per minute, and that's called mu typically so 60 seconds per minute uh, divided by 15 seconds per vehicle gives vehicles per minute four and then the arrival rate uh, uh, after uh, 820 in the morning is 120 vehicles per hour and that that converts to two vehicles per minute and that's just a, a different lambda different arrival rate Okay, so we could put these into a table showing the time period from 1 to 60, the first hour. Uh, the arrival rates during each minute in the first 20 minutes is 8 vehicles per minute. The departure rate for the whole hour is uniform, remember, and that's uh, 4 vehicles per minute. And then starting at, at minute 21, the, the arrival rate is only two vehicles per minute up to uh, the first uh, the, the 60th minute or in the first hour and you'll see why I stopped at, at the first hour in a minute. So we can see that uh, during the first minute a queue of four forms so that we have four vehicles sitting there and four eight more arriving so we've got a total of 12 waiting to go but we can only process four so the queue that's formed is 8, 12 minus 4. So now again, we have 8 vehicles sitting there, 8 vehicles arriving, we can only service 4. That means 12 will be sitting there after the third minute and so forth. Okay. And we can continue down to the maximum value and then you can see we start dissipating the queue until at 60 minutes. Uh, there's no more queue forming because of the lower arrival rate. Okay. So we can calculate the average queue. You can see from the table, if I just add these up, these are the queues each minute. If I add them up and divide by the number of minutes, I get an average queue. Now we can do that graphically, and we're going to do that uh, on graph paper. So we have, uh, we create this uh, space, or this vehicle time diagram, okay, okay. and uh, we just plot these things. So the arrival, or the departure rate 
the number of vehicles departing at any given time t is 4 times t. Okay? The number of vehicles that have departed at any given time t would be this. Okay? The number of vehicles that have arrived at any time t can be given by this during the first 20 minutes. And then at time equal 20 minutes, that arrival rate changes to this, right? If we start here and move forward, and they meet at 60 minutes. Okay. The total number of vehicles, by the way, at that time, you could, you could do the calculation, is um, 120. I'm sorry, 240. Because if plug, plug 60 in here, 4 times 60 is 240 minutes, or uh, vehicles, sorry. 240 vehicles have arrived in that first hour. Okay. So, if we look at just any, any given time period, this is the number of vehicles that queue there, right? So, um, this is how many vehicles have arrived at this time given by these graphs and this is the number of vehicles that have departed or have been able to depart so the difference is the number of vehicles that are sitting in the queue at that given time now just like we did in that table if we added all of those up it's essentially just calculating uh, the area between these curves if I just add up all of those time periods right? So the sum of the Q's is, is equal to the area of the figure between those graphs. And the average value, the average Q, the average vertical line at any given time, is equal to that total area divided by the number of time periods we're looking at. In this case, 60. Right? So the area of this figure, and um, you know I won't go through it, but it's 1 half the base times the height, um, is 2,400. And so the average Q is 2,400 divided by 60, or 40 vehicles. That's the average Q. We could find the maximum Q by looking at the figure 2. It, it jumps right out at you. It, it turns out it's 80. Okay. So now let's take a look at this from uh, the, the delay perspective. Here we have the delay perspective. Uh, we have, uh -oh. there we go, we have uh, the, 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 the same uh, departure and arrival curves uh, here shown, and the area here is going to be the same as well. So if we have, a, let's say, the hundredth vehicle arrives, okay, when the hundredth vehicle arrives, that vehicle will arrive at this time. Okay, at this time right here, that corresponds with this red model, and um, it will leave at this time, and the depart according to this departure model, right? So this this green arrow represents the time that this vehicle is spent waiting, spending waiting in t in line, okay? From the time they arrive to the time they depart, that's the time they're they're delayed. Okay, if we add up the delays for all of the vehicles that are arriving during this time period that's equal to the area between these uh, these curves uh, and we can find the average by dividing that area by the total number of vehicles and just count up the number of vehicles uh, for which we're measuring time and divide so the sum of all of the delays is equal to the area of this figure, and the average value is the area divided by the number of vehicles arriving. So the area of the figure, once again, is 2,400. The average delay, then, is 2,400 divided by the total number of vehicles arriving, which is 240. Uh, so the average delay is 10 minutes per vehicle.